Dallin and Ella from Dada Estates. Yes, yes, how you guys doing? Good, yeah, good, good. Looking awesome. Excited. Let's do this. What's up guys, welcome to this week's Winners on a Wednesday. Every single week, I have someone on my YouTube channel who has succeeded in property as a direct result of the training that we provide. And even through lockdown, we've had someone every single week coming and sharing their story. This week, we have an incredible story of Darren and Ella, and they're gonna be talking about how they used the skills from the Property Investors Academy, and now they own over a million pound property portfolio. They've got experience in buy, refurbish, refinance, commercial to residential. They've just secured a, a piece of land on a lease option. So it's very, very exciting. Great to have you guys in, in my home, and welcome on Winners Wednesday. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much for us. You guys have got such a great story, and you know what as well? People sometimes um, think that if you are already a property investor, you don't need to go on the training. But you actually had three deals, or you'd done three property deals before you knew who I even was. Start off, tell me a little bit about that, and then tell me what happened afterwards. Yeah, so the three deals we had originally uh, were flips. And I always thought that was the way to sort of do property. You buy a house, you renovate it, you set it on and make some money. And that's what we thought was the way to do it. Then actually, Ella came in with a house that we had up for sale at the time. It was a three bed house and we'd done a loft conversion. Yeah, turned it into a five bedroom. Turned it into a five bed and we were gonna put it up for sale. We, we actually had it up for sale. It was online, wasn't it? Yeah. On right move. <laughs> and then Ella came in and was like, we're not selling the house. I said, what do you mean we're not selling the house? Of course we're selling the house. He said, no, no, I've been watching this guy on YouTube and he's going on about refinancing and putting your money out and reinvesting it. So then we started watching your YouTube channel and your videos and that's exactly what we've done. And refinanced it and pulled all of our money out. Yep, and that will be a five bridge HMO as well. Yeah. That's awesome. So basically, you were going to sell it, but you realised it would be more efficient to refinance it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So at what point did you actually come down to the crash course, go on the academy? What was, the, what was, that, what was that journey like? Not uh, that long ago, was it? It was yeah, no, it November, was, I think. Yeah, the tail end of November last year. So yeah, we came down to the crash course. Um, we yeah. actually said, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this, but we said that we wouldn't be invested in further training because we'd been to training before and we didn't feel it was for us. But when we were there, we just, we thought that, that it's actually a no-brainer because if we could do what we've done just by watching your YouTube videos, what could we do using all these other strategies? Yeah, um, we so, thought we'd be nosy when we didn't see yeah. what was going on. The first day of the crash then, course, we were straight at the back. And we just signed just, straight up, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we spoke to Alistair and signed up straight away. And so you, you were on the receiving back. end of the pressure selling? <laughs> yeah, pressure selling, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we were actually at the back like, what can we do now? Before, before it even got to that and point. And actually, Alistair even said to us, do you know what, I'm not going to sell to you. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. If not, then whatever. Yeah. He didn't sell us at all, did he? No, because we actually went to him and said, we want, can we have a work? Can we have a yeah. chat? <laughs> and we want, to, we want to talk to you about the academy because the, the, what we got just from the crash course and from the YouTube videos was enough for us to make money, wasn't it? Yeah, so we knew from it From refinancing worked. that first house. And if you can do that with no support, what can you do with support? Yeah. So it made sense And to you've, us. I mean, you've, you've, registered signed up for done every single training program that we do yeah, yeah. You know. i think we've got one to go yeah the accelerated mentoring yeah. oh you've not yeah. done that one yet no, not okay not one yet. but you've paid for yeah every single training program that we do yeah, yeah. how's it been so far what's the training been like oh, second been to none incredible, hasn't it? it's been amazing yeah. yeah it's got us to where we are today it's as simple as that um and in terms of like your trainings focus a lot more on mindset as well as property education. And it's just like catapulted us into a completely different headspace, isn't it? Massively, yeah. Um, and the power team. Yeah, the power team, the connections that we've made through that. We've got a property now that um, we're using the builders through that network to refurb our property, so. And this is just from sign up to the academy. So we've done, We've done so much just from the academy that I would actually say we'd do the academy again yeah. just to get that exposure and the, the network and the power team. It, yeah. it was worth it just for that, let alone everything else that come, you know, that's, that's yeah. involved. We've done business together as well. Yeah. We have, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I, I was doing a deal and practice, practicing what I preach yeah. um, was raising some money for it. So how much did you, did you lend me in cash? Uh, 100,000. And yeah. you know what? It's 
very, very rare that I ask people for money who are, who are students because of the conflict of interest. Also, they have to be a qualified investor, so they have to have so much in the bank and there's quite a lot of strict rules behind it. Um, so t t tell me the deal there, tell me how that worked out. It was, it was actually a no-brainer for us, wasn't it? So it was Alastair that spoke to us initially and said, um, would you be interested in doing a, an angel investment type thing with Sam himself? And we said, well, what's the deal? Uh, and it was 100K, and in return, we'd get 110K back in three months. So we're working out, well, hang on, that's like 40% per year. So why wouldn't we do it? And at the time, the money was just sat in our, our bank, mm. not doing anything. So we thought, what a great way to sort of kickstart us. There's pretty much the cost of the academy done. Yeah, it's nice Straight to be on away. the receiving end of um, loaning money as well. So yeah. we knew how to structure JV agreements in the future as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, because you, you, you've learned a lot just from from yeah. doing that. From 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 lending, because it's funny, because I've lent money myself. I've been the person that gives money. I've also been the person that borrows money. Because depending on where you are in your property journey, depending on what deals on the table, suddenly, because I teach as a property investor, don't have loads of cash in the bank. So if you've got cash in the bank, you should you should you should have invested it. But if you've not got cash in the bank, sometimes you can come across a deal or an opportunity that's so good. And you're like, man, I, I need to get some funds for this. Yeah. Let me just, who, who can I call on? Who can I grab a quick hundred grand from that can be in the account within a few days? And then I can then give myself some time to refinance some properties to sort, my, to sort things out. So you've been in the experience of where you've lent money. You've also been at the experience where you've, you've built up a lot, of, a lot of the properties you've got with your own money. Now you're moving on to a situation where by your getting joint ventures coming to you wanting to do deals. Why don't we just go through the different property deals that you've done, the lessons, the lessons on them, uh, because you've done so much in the last like seven, eight months. It's just been insane. It's been, it's been a crazy time, hasn't it? We've, yes. We seem to have crammed quite a lot in. I look back now and think, wow, that has actually only been eight months. Yeah. How have we done all of that in eight months? And considering you sold your business as well in yeah. the meantime, and I've kind of stepped out of my job to do property full time. So we were doing this as a sideline as well. So yeah. it's, yeah, well, yeah, it's catapulted we, we, quite quickly. So you've both left your jobs. We yeah. Quit <laughs> and you, salary, you, weren't, yeah. you weren't working for the minimum wage either. No. No, no we, 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 we owned a sports car dealership yeah. uh, that we both set up probably seven years ago now and just build it up and up and up. And yeah, yeah we were quite doing quite well. Yeah. It was six, six figures, income, yeah. You were both on six figures. Oh, well, Darren had his dealership yeah. and um, I had a vet physio mobile practice as well, so. Yeah, yeah we, do, we did do like 150K a year, yeah. 170 the year before. Yeah, so you've now, you've now stepped from that and now you're full-time in property. Yeah, so we quit that and said, that's, that's not enough. We, yeah. we want more, we know we can do more. And it's interesting because- It's not passive. <laughs> yeah, it's, but, but, but what's so funny is, I remember when we, when we spoke about coming on Winners Wednesday and you were saying, I don't know, I don't know whether we're really um, credible enough yet. It was Amelia that reached out. I don't know whether we've done enough yet to go on Winners Wednesday. And I'm like, well, hold on. How many deals have you actually done? Well, we have got a million pound property portfolio and we have done, you know, we, we've got multiple apartments and shops. And I'm like, wow, I think you're ready. But it's this whole issue of financial freedom because in your eyes, you're saying, well, look, we're not financially free yet because we haven't got a passive income that yeah. covers our lifestyle. Yeah. But then for, for some people, financial freedom, 1,500 pounds or 2,000 pounds a month, that's financially free. For you, financially free is something that's much, much bigger than that. Yeah, we've gone the wealth builder sort of route, yeah. haven't we? Rather than aim for cash flow, we, we're going to be millionaires next year. It's as simple as that because yeah. we've we focused ourselves and said that's what we're doing. We've got a plan and we're sticking to it. So it wasn't so much about cash flow, was it? No, and like we said, the, the strategies that we have picked, like buy, refurbish, refinance, and longer term deals like commercial to residential conversions, mm -hmm. they do take longer. Um, so you're not gonna get that immediate cash mm. flow from them straight away, but you can get your money back out and you can recycle that cash and build that wealth so mm. much better. So you're about building wealth. And it's funny as well, because what, talk to me about the difference between having a property portfolio of a million pounds and being a cash millionaire, what's the difference? Yeah, so at the moment we've got a million pound portfolio, which is the properties that we've got. So we've got several, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, rather than having, say, a million pound liquid in the bank, yeah. which is where, that's our goal, that's where we're going to be. But funnily enough, we actually did start off to go down the route of rent to SAs, but actually stopped. So we've done a lot of the training, thought, right, this is perfect. And we secured a rent to SA in Winchester. Yeah, we did. We, yeah. Ella secured it, yeah. And we actually <laughs> gave it to some other Academy members. 
when we said no we're actually we're going to go down this um brr route and the hmo route wasn't it yeah um we probably would have done it but at the time um you, Darren was still in his business, I was still in my business, and we were still focusing on those longer term strategies. So there's only so much time you have. Um, so we didn't end up doing that, but that's when we kind of really nailed our strategy yeah. and thought, what do we want to do? And thought we need to be like, do we need to level up? Yeah. Yeah. And that's where it's yeah, kind of taken us. If you're in a situation whereby you're trying to make a few thousand pounds a month or you want to get out of your job, Rent to service accommodation is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. But with your goals and what you figured out on the academy, which was your goals are actually to grow and scale your wealth yeah. and build wealth, rent yeah. to service accommodation is only going to give you a little bit of cash flow. You're not going to build wealth from that. No, this is it. And that's what we thought. And, and because we've been on the 10K month before, we really want to now level up to, to yeah. get to something bigger, I suppose. Yeah. 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 I think the... Um, like te when we went to the rent to rent revolution, it's really good to have that information and that knowledge anyway, because one of our commercial to residential conversions will be SA units. So we still needed that training mm -hmm. and it's good to know that we can do that. And we, we were going to pass that to a, um, to someone else via rent to rent so they can manage that themselves. So, so true. Yeah. No, we've, we've done a lot of the strategies sort of all together, so we, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we've combined yeah. quite a lot. That's the thing people say to me, what's the best strategy? But yeah. you have you have to combine them. So yeah. you've you've you turned your HMO, it's gonna be a buy buy refurbish refinance HMO. Yeah. yeah. Well we've you got, think like the commercial ones, that's a commercial to residential BRRR two SA. <laughs> it's like it's all in there, isn't it? All in one. Yeah. Talk me through the deals I'm itching. So you've got the buy to let that your mom was involved with. Yeah, Talk, yeah. Tell so, me about that one. So that one. Is when so, did you do this? Was this very quickly after joining the academy? Yeah, pretty much straight after. Yeah. 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 So after refinancing the house, wasn't it? Yeah. So we refinanced the house that we're currently in. Uh, that one's is we're still living in it at the moment. That's going to be a HMO. Yeah. So we've done a three to five bed. The buy to let was essentially just to sort of I suppose help my mum out really yeah. at the time when she was not financially free or struggling with money, but she had lots of equity in the property. And we thought, well, how can we go about doing this? So me and Ella sat down and had a, had a think and a chat, spoke to one of our brokers, which funnily enough, we got from your Facebook group. Yeah. Just put a little link, you know, who, who's a good broker. Uh, and bought that property with the equity and managed to get a mortgage product that would allow it, because we didn't realize well, that's quite a tricky subject as well. Uh, so we managed to do that, and that's just a bog standard buy to let. And where is that? Uh, that's in Andover, where we live, in Hampshire. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. So you've got that one, which, which, is, which is great. Yeah. You've got one in Sheffield? In yeah, Barnsley. Barnsley. In Barnsley? Yeah. Keith's that Friday. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, three days. Yeah. So literally, you guys are buying property deals just left, right and centre. Yeah. Was that the one that you used the negotiation technique and got an extra £10,000 off the price? Yeah. So, well, yeah how did, did you yeah. negotiate ten grand off the price? Uh, basically... Because of COVID, um, it gave us a little bit of breathing space because we had an issue where it's a, it was a leasehold property, but we managed to get the council to confirm that they would sell us the freehold, but we couldn't get the document from them during COVID. It was locked in the town hall or something, yeah. they couldn't get to it. They couldn't have staff to get to it. Um, but it, it brought us a little bit of time. And um, the, our, my argument was that actually the, the market's going to drop and the property wouldn't be worth as much as what we were going to buy it for. Um, so we negotiated down a yeah, price reduction of £10,000. From, from a fixed price. What was that? How much did you pay for the property? Originally 91, 91 fixed. Originally. And you got down to 81,000. Yeah. We and thought they were going to laugh us out. And you were happy with 91. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that was, and because and, um, that's something we've been saying to all of the students is like, if you've got any properties that you're in the process of purchasing, try and get them knocked down a little bit. Yeah. And that's exactly what we did. We, we heard that, didn't we? And thought, let's, let's do that. Definitely. Yeah, and got 10,000 off. So yeah, and that that hate that will be a um, it's currently a four bedroom townhouse, but it will be a six bedroom HMO, and that sh would be an all money out deal. So. Oh, so you're gonna re buy, it, refurb it, and refinance it? Yeah. Yeah. Combining the strategies. Yeah. yeah. And have you got the end valuation on that already? Have you got a, like a GDV? Yeah. So that would be yeah. 180. Fantastic. That's great. Well, they've gone in today. Yeah. They've gone in this morning. Mm-hmm. And, and you've also talked to me about the big, fat, juicy deal that you bought for £200,000 as well, because that one is a bit of a cracker. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? So that one um, was up in Blackpool. Yeah. yeah. It was offices, and it's been turned to six 
uh, apartments and two shops. And when did you buy it? Uh, when did we get that one? March? A yeah. couple of months ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it was uh, 200,000 purchase uh, with the legal surveys and fees and stuff around about 250. We've got a GDV of 650, so there's like a couple hundred grand profit in this deal. Mm. It's a cracking deal, really, really good deal. But funny enough, we might be selling that deal. Uh, so we've been speaking to James Armstrong, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, and he may have found someone. The reason being is because we've now got a new deal, which is a scheme of 24 apartments. And this one is going to make you pretty wealthy if it comes off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is it. I mean, it's, it's all going through as we speak, isn't it? And we thought we've got to do this deal because it's so juicy. Yeah. So we've gone from a really good, healthy, juicy deal to another one straight away. I know I? the pain, though, because I was talking about this recently on YouTube. At some point, when you, when you grow in your portfolio and you're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you're probably going to have to sell off some of the deals to fund the other deals. In your case, it's all happened really, really fast. Norm quicker. Normally, people will start off with single lets and then, if, and then five years later, they'll buy a HMO. Then five years later, they might start getting into some, a pub conversion. Then 10 years later, do a land development. You've done all this, what most people would do in a lifetime, yeah. but in eight months, I know. which is incredible. So you've put an offer on this big, massive deal that's been accepted? Yeah, which is a JV opportunity. You actually found that one, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So it's 24 yeah. apartments in Oldham, Manchester. So it's currently a care home, so it will be demolished and building for 24 apartments. So yeah, um, we Very will, juicy deal as well. Yeah. So how much, what's the, what are the profit margins on that? Uh, so we stand to make combined uh, 860, roughly. And we're doing 50-50 with another... JV partner. So you'll make just what, like about? 420? Four, four 430, yeah. I mean, when you're making that kind of money on one deal, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and one of the things I've said to you is it, make, it takes just as much effort to do a big deal as it does to do a small deal. Definitely. Exactly, yeah. We've learned that along the way, haven't we? 100%, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, although we still like the Barnsley one, I don't know why I was so excited about that. It's just a four bedroom house that's going to a six bed HMO. So it's quite a, not a smaller deal, but it's a normal deal. But I don't know why, I was just really happy with that one. I think it's, I quite like property uh, as an individual, don't I? I'm, I'm quite like into my houses. And that's just a lovely old property. And I'm still as excited about that deal as the bigger deals. It's obviously the money that excites me about the bigger deals. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which is inevitably why we, we're doing what we're doing. So talk to me then through, um, I, I mean, your, your, you guys, your backgrounds growing up, your parents aren't like property millionaires, I don't no, think. No, no. I grew up in a council estate. <laughs> yeah, so did I pretty much after my parents lost a house that they built mm. uh, back in the 80s and we actually had to move to a council estate. So you're both from council estates? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. And, 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 <laughs> and both of our parents have, have done new builds and lost them. Yeah. yeah. So this is like why we've really channeled we're doing new builds they, and they are being successful and it's working. Yeah, and also that's the reason we got educated as well yeah. because they made some really expensive mistakes and we didn't want to yeah. follow yeah. in their footsteps and hopefully we can help them along, along the way as well. Well, this is it. We can put it back in and, and actually get them to do new builds again, yeah. but right this time. What were your first jobs? Uh, when I left school, I was actually, I trained to be an accountant, so it's done me well in terms of... It was out of the numbers, yeah. definitely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. which I'm so not I'm very good at. I'm the one who does all the numbers. Um, yeah. And then I retrained as a vet physio because I didn't really like the lifestyle of being cooped up in an office all day. Yeah. So, yeah, I retrained to do that, which I loved, but I felt like when I started getting into property more seriously, you've got to kind of weigh up what's more lucrative in terms of long-term future planning, so... Yeah. That's why I made the decision to just focus on property full time and not look back really. Yeah, that's awesome. What about you, Dan? What was your first job? I actually done a plumbing and heating apprenticeship with my father, which I hated for 10 years, if I'm <laughs> going to be honest. I really did. Uh, built it up and then became a gas engineer. Uh, I think I, the last job was like 30K a year. Mm. And I just knew that there was more. I'd done so many projects for other people and other developers and other people that are investing in properties and doing flips and stuff, but it was me that was going around doing the work. Yeah. And then I always looked and thought, the guy that turned up in the big Range Rover, for example, I always thought, I've got to be there, and I'm going to be. And that, for me, that, that was the turning point when I thought, I don't need to be doing this with my hands, I need to be working with my head yeah. and getting the people around to do the work and making these bigger profits. And what are you, what are you driving now? Um, I've actually brought an R8 with us today. I'm a bit car mad, so we've got all sorts of cars. Yeah. We've actually invested in cars, funny enough. So 
this whole experience and especially with the academy is to us to diversify and invest in all sorts so yeah we've got an, an r8 with us at the moment but yeah uh range rover sports and we've got an e-type in the garage it's just an investment so yeah really big into my cars as well obviously only in the car dealership what would be what would be your advice then talking to somebody who's wanting to get into property maybe they're also in they could be in a six-figure job and they're wanting to get into property and get out of that or they're just starting out what would what would you what would you advise them go just for it. it to start off with <laughs> just action yeah yeah i think that is the key isn't it like there have been days where we've just wanted to sit and watch a film and watch netflix but we haven't we've just taken even small action like every single day mm. and then you're that one step closer to meeting your goals and like if you put the work in and you've got the people around you you will get there yeah. there's no doubt about it just to go for it and, yeah. and take action which is a, another thing that we've been taught from day one especially being on the academy is to take action and actually go and do it mm. and once you start taking action all of a sudden things happen funnily enough yeah. Yeah. and that's what we've done over the last eight months and yeah now we sit back and think wow we've actually done quite a lot in eight months yeah. how have we crammed that in so yeah, just go and do it, really, and get some training. Again, both our parents lost new builds years back. Yeah. Do the training so you know what you're doing, which is what we've obviously done. Mm. And and go and go and do it and go and get it. And have a bit more confidence in yourself. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we had a lot of confidence. Definitely. We've both had a big mindset shift, haven't we? Massively. Which has been important for us. I remember um, standing up at the Rent to Rent Revolution and saying that I was really anxious ringing agents. And that was when Alastair decided to drag me up on stage. <laughs> She's done it to both was, of us several times yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> he's done it to both of us now, hasn't yeah. he? Um, but it was like the massive kick that we needed. And, it's and just... what did you do on stage? Um, do you know what? It went by in such a flash. I don't even know what I said. I think he just told me to explain a little bit about myself. Yeah. I, I, saw the, I wasn't actually yeah. there in the room when it happened, but I saw the photograph of you on stage with lots of people yeah. absolutely yeah. In, in your power. Mm. That was just incredible, wasn't it? And we got that from the Academy. You need to put that picture in as well, because that's a, <laughs> such yeah. a good picture. Yeah, um, so I just stood on stage, said my piece and kind of, you know, just stood there and lapped it up, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I think with property though, it's, it's, it's twofold. One, you need all the knowledge and you need all the information because it is potentially a very risky business if you don't know what you're doing. But then you also need the confidence to be able to actually take action. Yeah. It's been like 50-50 for us as well, hasn't it? Yeah. From, from like the training, we've done all the training like you said, and yeah, the mindset shift and, and jumping on stage and getting the confidence even to call agents. And to negotiate down on like fixed price deals, it's yeah. like I it's, never it's, would have done that before. Never. No. That deal that you got ten grand off. Yeah. That was fixed price, wasn't it? Was, it? Yeah, yeah. It we, from, were, we were we were just authority. about to exchange. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we were yeah. like, no, no, no. We want some money off now. <laughs> yeah. She called me up because I'm like the haggler, being you know yeah. selling the sports cars yeah. and stuff. Said we we can get some money off of this. I know we can. What, what do you want me to do? And I, I was just like, do what you've got to do. And I've always been the one that kind of hides behind you a little bit because yeah. Darren's much more of a people person. I feel. Yeah. Um, and obviously with a sales background, he's better at negotiation. I haggle in like no, curries no, no, no. on a TV, and Ella will walk <laughs> off embarrassed. I'm like, got a hundred pound off though. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. so good. And it's gr it's great as well to see your celebration side of things as well because every time you've been completing on a deal you've been posting it i've seen the, the dangly keys picture people that get upset with those pictures people say oh well, you know you keep doing pictures of you dangling keys every time you buy a house they're just haters man just... I, I just say to them well they'll see your picture yeah exactly. and they're like i don't have one yeah. so well we've got a few now so i'd but rather have the picture than not have course. it of course and it's been because it, it and it's been great for me to see I mean, I know we've been speaking on the phone and I've been, we've been in good communication, but just seeing the pictures and the things that you've been posting up. And also, when, every time you've been winning, I mean, the amount of times Darren's messaged, messaged me, we've made our academy money back again. We've made our academy money back again. We've made our academy money back again with, with, with the deals. Um, I mean, for, for me, as the person who created the Property Investors Academy, it's really satisfying. And people like you guys remind me why I set up the training company in the first place. And I'm really humble because, I mean, I'm 29. So to be able to teach people about property and have all these different people that are having their lives changed and their finances changed, you know, from my perspective, it's, it's, it's a massive, massive honor. It's, um, it's quite funny though, because the first winners on a Wednesday we watched, yeah. we actually looked at each other, didn't we? And said, we're, we're going to be, be there on one there. day. Yeah. The way we're going <laughs> and our mindset, we're, we're going to do it. Yeah. 
So it's funny to actually watch your videos and, and you speaking about people to actually be one of those students now. Which is amazing. But, yeah. but then when you had the phone call from Amelia, you were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad about that now, but it was more the fact that we were like, we wanted to come back in six months and be like, right, we're millionaires. Yeah, you well, want to you know, come we're, when you're a millionaire. We're done now. I mean, honestly, the amount of people, I've said this to you already, every time we have someone on Winners Wednesday, there have been multiple more people that have also had success but just didn't want to come on the show, which is, which is, which is crazy. Yeah. People have their own reasons. We um, always, always wanted to do it. We just wanted to come back in like six months time, for example. We'll have to do another one. What's your plans then? What are your plans over the next sort of six, 12 months? Um, so we've got lots in the pipeline in terms of mm. um, land sourcing and um, getting some planning uplift on those. Yeah, we've got the, um, yeah, we've got the, the land deal, haven't we? Yeah, so... It's on the lease option. We've got a lease option on eight detached homes that is going through planning. Um, yeah, so we've just got, um, then we've got the 24 apartments as well, which we've spoken about. We're going to move out of our current house as well, yeah. and HMO that one, mm. once the Barnsley one's done, because we paid with that cash. So we were going to do bridging finance, and we actually paid for that in cash in, didn't we? Yeah. So we can refinance that and then have another big chunk to, do, to go again. So we're going to have several, several of the HMOs, I think, yeah. and then also do the land stuff. You all end up selling those HMOs, no doubt. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Give it a year stage. or two and you'll sell them because you'll want to put them into some castle or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, buy a castle, no doubt. Yeah. We'll be coming to you for some advice on that. <laughs> it's funny, though, how the, the techniques are the same. It doesn't really change. I mean, I know when you're do, doing land developments, it might be a slightly different beast, yeah. but the principles, like of doing a lease option agreement on a little residential house that makes you £400 a month and then on a piece of land that's going to make you half a million pounds. It's very similar. It's, it's literally the same. There's no different from the paperwork side of things. Yeah. And because we're not, as I was a plumber, I used to do the last of the three flips that I'd done, I was heavily involved with. And even the last flip that we'd done in Andover, you, you, know, you were stripping wallpaper and stuff. Yeah. And now we God, know <laughs> to, to use, outsource it and use our time wisely to find the next deal. Yeah. But they're the same. They're, you know, it's all the same, isn't it? Yeah. I think it is important to get your hands dirty as well because... We've you, done that though, haven't we? Yeah, you know the work that needs to be done so that when it comes to future projects you you you've got that team to put in place yeah. mm. so you know where you know what to do and you've been doing business with a lot of academy members yeah yeah and, yeah. and jv's are the thing that we want to do uh and we've we've actually done a deal with you haven't we yeah with, with the uh with, with the money and the lease option on the land yeah We've got several of the academy members that have that message us constantly. You know, what have you got coming up now? Anything we can get involved in, which is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, we can't find the deals quick enough. So can't find the deals quick well, enough, yeah. Well, it's funny because it, what, at first you were kind of, you know, wanting to invest your money into deals and people were coming to you with deals and then you were looking at them and seeing whether it might work for you. But now it's getting to a point whereby you've got lots of deals and you've got people coming to you wanting to invest in the deals which is just a really good season to be in. It is, yeah. yeah. And it wasn't really even intentional, was it? it well, was like that just, post that you put up for the yeah, commercial to residential. We just posted something on social media about the deal that we'd done already. And um, from that post, we just had this influx of people wanting to invest with us. So we've created an investor list without even <laughs> trying to But you are honest. very active on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I, guess I mean, so. especially you, you, um, Darren. I see you posting a lot of really positive stuff, and yeah. also when the, whenever there's negativity going on, I know that Darren will come in. Oh, Scott, Darren will be there somewhere. He won't be yeah. saying negative stuff. He'll be shooting down all the negative people. Yeah. But but you can because you've you've done it. You've well, got this the is right. it. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you can, if you've walked the walk, then why not? Yeah. And I think that's really important as well. And and that's obviously come across well because people message us a lot you know to say you know let's do this let's do that and even people are coming to us now with their own deals saying we're not quite sure what to do with this yeah um can you help us yeah, can and this is like it. eight months after the crash course yeah so yeah not sure what where we're going to be in five years time but well, I'm, I'm worried to even think about it. I mean, six months, I can just about visualise it. You're going to be millionaires and you're going to be doing some really big deals. Five years' time, I mean, geez, who knows? Yeah. It's exciting. What would you say has been the best learning curve over the last eight months? I think it's just getting a grip on your mindset, isn't it? Because mm. that has just, it's transformed things. I think for you as well, that's really, yeah. 
like Ella's boss now. She's CEO. She's she's running <laughs> the whole lot. Runs the show. <laughs> yeah, if I'm honest, she really is. And it was always initially me, wasn't it? You know, from a plumbing background, I want to buy an old house and move into and do it up. And now Ella's like, yeah, she's CEO. And that's <laughs> come from the mindset and the shift and the jumping on stage and doing deals live and yeah. you know, you guys getting us to call agents there and then. You you didn't even like doing that, did you? Just call up. No, no. And now it's like because it's funny on. because I know you've done a few other uh, property training courses around the similar time as you were doing our courses, um, not necessarily paid for, but some of the some of the taster stuff. Yeah. Um, and and you said that one of the reasons you chose to do training with us was because of the the energy, the fact that we do live deals, and you, you're awake in the room. But that's yeah. But but that but but then sometimes that's people's negative feedback people say I don't like the fact that you know you get you up on your feet and get you calling and d- high-fiving well, that was me before that was me to start off with go on talk to me about that well like like the crash course so like five minutes in I just looked at hell I was like this isn't for me yeah I did honestly and and you were like straight involved weren't you and then like 10 minutes I was like oh okay then and then 15 <laughs> minutes I'm like right we're doing this this yeah. is it yeah because it, it brings it out in you if you've got it you've got it and like the crash course us me and Ella were just sat on the edge of our seats for two days straight, 48 hours, we're just like that, ready to go. And the prior stuff we'd done with another company, we were like drifting off at one point, weren't we? It was yeah. a very textbook and it wasn't much involvement and, and the practical side of it. I mean, you get you got us calling people. Like that crash course, I was on stage that crash course, yeah. wasn't I? Because yeah, that was it. Alice there made us do like a, a task, I suppose. And it was to find the best... Best ROI deal on a, just a standard buy to let. Yeah, and everyone had 20 minutes, get yourself in groups of three. And, and my team, we, we found the best deal. And we were up on stage sort of talking about that deal. Yeah. And I could, that just wasn't me. I was like shaking, I was literally shaking with the mic because yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this. But then got down and felt so enthralled with that, I wanted to do it again. Yeah. So yeah, 100% mindset's been, yeah, been crazy, isn't it? The energy at the events is just incredible. And yeah, because you do do the live deals, it does give you the confidence because anyone can go to these training courses and say, yeah, I'll do that when you get home. Mm. But will you? Or, but at your events, you are kind of you are forced to, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You, you've got to get on the phone and ring those agents. And um, you've, got there for, you've got people there for support as well. So everyone else is mm. in the same boat. And you can see that people are getting results from making those calls. So. Yeah. And having the opportunity as well. So you, you've given us the skills to do that task and then saying, do it. Yeah. There's the phone. There's the mic. Here's the time. <laughs> yeah. That's when you learn the most. Yeah. What, you know, you can, you can, this is the script. This is what you say when you phone an agent. And then it's like, okay, I learned. I know what to do now. No, no, no. Now watch me do it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. I just watched Samuel do it on stage. Now I really know. No, no, no. Now you do it. <laughs> yeah. And that's when you really learn when you do it. And you're like, man, it's the difference between reading a theory book and actually getting in the car with a driving instructor and driving. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that's what's, not forced us, that's what's enabled us to actually go and do it, I yeah. think, and do what we've done in such a short period of time. I don't know when the crash course is going to be back on now. We, we can, we're going to come again. We, we're going to more crash courses, 100%. You're doing one in Southampton soon, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Well, we did have one, but we had to, we had to cancel it due to corona. But yeah, I imagine in the next few months, Crash Course is going to be back on. At the moment, we've got the um, Samuel 365, which is basically a lot of the training. The Crash Course is on there, but it's just the online version, which so if anyone's watching and wants to do some of the training, you can do that. What will be your final? I'm going to leave your website. You've got a website. You've got a, and you've got a new, beautiful website. So I'm going to leave that in the description if people want to connect. Also, you can find you guys on the Facebook group. Yeah. Yeah, we're really, always on there. You're really active. You're really active on. That's so great for just questions as well, because we've obviously still got questions. Five years time, we're still going to have questions, and you can pretty much type any question you want about property on that group and get a response. Yeah. And and even the actual people, brokers and solicitors and all sorts. Yeah. So you can get the whole lot from there, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but going back to our social media, we've got a Facebook page and Instagram as well. Oh, awesome. So I'll put that on the I'll put that in the description as well. So people can go and, and, and smash a like. Do more JV deals. Yeah, yeah, more JV deals. People have got deals, or if people want to look at your deals, they can yeah. connect and they can talk with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Because I think that's a massive part of it as well. One of the things that I think is really important about the academy and just about business in general is about relationships, joint ventures. You talked about the power team. 
I mean, who, who have you, how's that, what's happened there? Well, the power team for us so far has is, is all been because of the academy. Yeah, through that network. It has, it? isn't it? So you think like, well, like I said, the, the, the juicy Blackpool deal that we're selling, uh, James Armstrong's just straight on it. Uh, the investment opportunity with yourself, Alastair brought to us. Alastair's build team, Dave, yeah. is doing the Barnsley HMO today. They've like, his build team have got the keys today. It's, um, they've been really good with advice. Yeah, they? Sam Hawkins has, has done a contract for us before. Yeah. So it's all been in-house, which is invaluable, isn't it? Yeah, and also the support that we've had alongside the live events as well. So mm. you have the weekly webinar, which has been really, really good, and the um, monthly coaching calls, so you stay accountable. So mm. every month you're t saying what action you've taken, and that's been really, really good. And Rick and Anthony call yeah, us Rick up, and, and how are you guys really getting on? And well. yeah. I'm always messaging Alistair. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he's always, always coming back with the answer straight away. It, so it feels like, supportive. the Academy for me, it feels like being a little lion cub, but then having the pack of lions behind you. That's the only way I can describe it. Yeah. As you're like, you can do it, you know you can. Because you look behind you and you're like, yeah, I've got the team yeah. to do it. It's enabled us to do what we've yeah. done so far. We've never Everything's scaled been in house. this quickly, never. But, but at the same time, everything that's happened is a result of what you've done. Yeah. You know, what you've found, you've done. So it's a two-way two thing. The, I see the academy as like a toolbox, but then you still need someone to pick the tools up and put the work in. And yeah. you utilise that really well. So yeah, We're grabbing all the tools at the moment. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Which Jumping up on stage, making calls, going ahead with deals, putting yourself out there. You've, you've followed it brilliantly and deserve every bit of success you've got. No doubt you've got a property portfolio of over a million pounds. No doubt you'll be cash millionaires in the next six, 12 months. That's, and, the, that's definitely the, the goal, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing you again on Winners Wednesday Part 2, maybe next year. If you want to connect, you can connect with Darren and Ella in the description link below. If you've got questions around property investment, post your questions below in the comment box. Please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and we'll see you next Wednesday for another success story as we do every single week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Can you post how you get on? Yep, we'll do. All right, awesome. Yep. See you guys. Drive safe. Thank you. Bye, Bye now.